Hello YouTube, welcome back to my channel Kings Down Roots. My name is Matt Rideout, R-I-D-O-U-T, and today I'm gonna to be doing an unboxing and a review of the unreleased Yeezy 700 MNVX. So those of you who are actually subscribed to my channel Kings Down Roots will have noticed that my previous video I was doing a bit of a reaction to the Yeezy 700 MNVNs and really that was because Yeezy and Adidas had just released information there would be four colorways of the 700 MNVNs. I'm very happy to say that seven days later from me ordering on StockX I've got my hands on a pair of Yeezy 700 MNVNs very, very early. The Yeezy 700 MNVN is not due to actually be released until mid to late February, I believe. So I've got this shoe at least three to four weeks early or before retail. So some people will ask me how I've got my hands on this sneaker so early. Well, it's a very good question to ask. So I purchased this on StockX, as many of you know, or have heard about StockX before, is essentially a reseller platform. So people that own sneakers and shoes, streetwear or jewelry can actually upload their products to that platform. After that, it's up to the people who own the products to send their products to StockX and they will verify that the products are as genuine as possible to the best of their ability. Now in terms of sneakers that are sold before retail, especially so early, like where do they come from? And I think that's a really good question to ask. First of all, there are people in the industries such as sport, music, film, etc., which are ultimately sponsored or have relationships with people from the brands. So people like Adidas and Nike, etc., they will give those people early access to some of their products. You also then get people who are um, friends and family, so these people get access to sneakers from all different brands uh, way before other people. They might have relationships with people at Adidas, they might have relationships with Kanye West, they might have relationships with um, John Wexo. Either way, they have a relationship with someone in a brand and then they get access to the shoe. It's up to them whether or not they decide to sell them or not. So people like me will pay uh, I would say a very high premium so we can get access to sneakers like this and give people advice and guidance of what to look for and what to purchase. So I'm going to get my trusty knife and I'm going to start unboxing and give you guys a first look at the Yeezy MNV app. Okay, we have the Yeezy 700 box so it's a standard top of the 700 box as you can see. We have some of this famous stock X bubble wrap Take it out of the double box. Yeah, like that. <laughs> On the front of the box, it says 700 MNVN. The MNVN is new addition to the box itself. It also says it on the back and it says made by Adidas with the Adidas logo. And then on the colorway section, it says black, black, black. Inside the box, you have, by the looks of it, the standard Yeezy tissue paper and then the 700s themselves. So let's take one of these out and have a look. So looking at the sneaker off the bat, it has the very recognizable 700 midsole and sole that looks very similar, if not identical to the normal 700. This is the triple black colorway. So it features the, uh, the black sole, the black midsole and the black upper. Now a lot of people have talked about this online, have written about it and I even talked about it in my last video, was that the, the upper is made of nylon so it's a new material that hasn't been used in the Yeezy 700 range before. So this is the first time that Yeezy 700 have had this. And it is rumored that the nylon material is part of the reason as to why the price has dropped for the Yeezy 700 MNVNs. The normal 700 in the US is around $300 and that has reduced down to about $220. In the UK, we're expecting this to drop from about 249 pounds to between 215 to 230 pounds. That is part of the reason as to why the price has dropped in the sneaker is because they think that the materials are probably less high premium and less high quality. And visually, I've got to say that, that the material doesn't look as good as the Yeezy 700 V1 or V2. The feel is really, really strange. It is a cross between an anorak and a stress ball. It's quite hard, it's quite rigid. So around the heel, it's padded all the way around here and the back and right around to the other side. Um, the front, it has less padding, if any padding in at all. But it is quite hard, it's quite rigid. One of the other most noticeable things about the sneaker straight away is that there are no laces to tie. 
So I just actually went and got the Easy 700 V3 and I wanted to show you a comparison of the lacing systems on both of them. The main differences here are that on the Easy 700 V3 you can see that the laces are still able to be tied, whereas on the MNVNs there is no option to tie, you cannot tie the laces at all. All you have on the Easy 700 MNVN is like a ring pull which I guess you pull towards yourself and that tightens the lacing system. So I'm going to stop talking about this sneaker and start putting them on my feet and giving you guys a couple of different looks and styles. I would love to hear what you guys think. A little behind the scenes shot right now, but look how easy this is to get on. Done. Props to Adidas and easy for finding a shoe that you can just slip on really easily. So what else to say about the sneaker? Well, firstly, the sizing and fit. Well, the 700s always have a bit of a different fit for me. I always find that the 700 V1s, V2s, and V3s all fitted differently. Now in terms of the 700 MNVNs, what does the fitting like? Well, I went for a UK 9.5, which is the same sizing that I go for for the Yeezy 700 V2s. Um, and that sizing works perfectly fine for me. The comfort and the feel of the shoe, as you'd expect, it's got the boost on the bottom of the sneaker, so it is very comfortable to wear. Around the top of the tongue, you have the very similar tongue to the 700 V3, which is a more comfortable, snug fit. And the material and of the upper on the nylon, you don't really feel it that much. It does feel a little closer than you do on the V1s and V2s, but it's still a comfortable schnoot. <laughs> Overall, this is still a very comfortable schnoot. <laughs> schnoot? Why not keep saying schnoot? But it is comfortable, it is comfortable. It's not as comfortable as a V1 or V2 in my opinion. A lot of people will say that this Yeezy 700 Triple Black MNVN is very similar to the Yeezy 700 V2 Vanta. And there are lots of similarities between these shoes. They are both triple black. They are both very similar in silhouette. My own personal preference would be at this point is that the Vanta has a, a better look about it on the upper because of the materials that have been used. And actually, personally for me, the design on the Vanta is slightly better. On the side, you have the triple lines, which is reminiscent of the Adidas logo, which I always liked on the, the V2s for the Yeezy 700s. On the Yeezy 700 MNVN, it's just very simple. And the 700 logo is only down one side of the upper the other side is completely plain so there's very little detail on uh, the inside of the shoes whereas on the Vanta you do have detail on both sides there are going to be four different colorways of the sneaker when it releases I'm not entirely sure whether or not they're all going to release at the same time but they are the bone color the phosphor which is a kind of a luminous yellow and the orange and this triple black color and um, me personally I'm very much looking forward to the bone I think that the bone colorway looks really nice looking forward to getting my hands on a pair of those soon so if you've enjoyed this video, please drop me a comment down below. I'd love to hear what you guys think about the Yeezy 700 MNVN. Where does it sit in terms of your scale of Yeezys? Is this a 700 that's gonna be a hit or is this gonna be a miss? Let me know down below. If you've enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up too. I'd really appreciate that. You can follow me on Instagram up here if you wish. I post more content on sneakers on Instagram. So yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed my video, guys. Take care, bye-bye.